Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got round two of the Morbius and Drax Arena. I did not go for Morbius this time, not even as a five star. I just went and had a nice leisurely grind, milestones, and that's what it's going to be for this one too. This current one, I have both those champions. So you can see I'm working on and almost done with the Summoner Trials. And then I'll move on uh, and just knock those out. All right, let's get to this. And let's look at the Drax first. And I'm sure he went low, but I don't know how low. So leave a comment and let me know what score you put up and what rank you, you uh, got. All right, last Zarnian, congratulations. See what other names we recognize here. You know, Drax is definitely an older champion. He's been through a few reworks, I think, at least two. They they reworked him and then they gave him a little nerf. So I'm not sure uh, how many, but where he stands right now, mm, uh, I don't think most people are are really wanting him that bad. Um, <clears throat> I do have uh, some news for you guys. And uh, I mentioned it a little bit on the stream today. But I went to the Split Cam uh, website. And I downloaded. Because at first I was like, a download? Why I got to download something? You know, Restream don't have me downloading. And I found out that Split Cam is streaming software similar to OBS, Streamlabs OBS. And it supports two ways of streaming. It supports multi-streaming, which you can get with um, Streamlabs OBS if you upgrade. They have it for free. And they also support restreaming. So the difference is one of performance. So if I have a very fast internet, I might do the multi-streaming. That means that I, from here, stream to multiple places. Okay, so it's from my stream and I'm just streaming to everybody. Okay, that takes a lot more bandwidth and, and all of that on my part. Restreaming, and it's very easy, it's just a, a button uh, on their uh, site and you suddenly now send that information to their server and they'll restream it out. And all you have to do is turn that off or on. So it looks like tentatively, I will be able to stream to all the platforms that I usually um, stream to. I've set it up. And we're going to try it out for the first time tomorrow. Don't know how that's going to work. Uh, but at uh, around 3 Eastern, take a look and see if I'm streaming. Because I'll be streaming um, Diablo. But it should be on Rumble. On um, YouTube and on Twitch, if everything works well. And it's free. That's what they're telling me. So we're gonna give it a test and see if there's any gotchas. Laser John, congratulations. And if that's the case, then I'll start uh, streaming the Diablo on all of them, which should help me out. And that means that you can watch it wherever. You know, you can watch it on Twitch, you can watch it on um, YouTube or on Rumble. Uh, I know some people have a problem with Rumble. They would like to watch, um, but that Rumble is a extra um, application and sometimes their device does not um, like it very well. So this should make it easier for folks to watch and I'll start doing the reverse too um if this works out well i may start 
trying to stream uh, MCLC to Rumble in addition to Twitch and YouTube, but I don't know yet. Um, the question about that one is more that I have to set everything up. <laughs> you know, uh, just like with um, OBS Studio, where a lot of stuff isn't integrated, you have to set things up, you know, super chats and alerts and all of that. It looks like uh, split cam is like that, where I would have to download a third party in order to do some of that stuff, just like OBS does. Now, Streamlabs OBS has everything kind of built in. Um, so, um, but I can set up what you're seeing here. I can reset up this layout over there. Um, and it shouldn't be a, a big deal. Um, it's not a really complicated layout. And since I already have all of the, uh, graphics, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping and positioning stuff and all of that. But the, um, the alerts, that's what will be interesting. And I don't know how uh, split cam handles that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm still learning. Also, the chat. Restream kind of combines everything into one chat application. I haven't found that on um, split cam yet. But we're going to test it out tomorrow. All right, so here's Morbius. He seems like he's a pretty decent one. Um, because he's new and I don't really know how to fight him quite just yet, I usually ban him in uh, Battlegrounds. And it's only because I just really don't know how to fight him and I haven't really practiced against him. I'm not fighting him a lot in the arena, you know, so I haven't gotten a lot of practice on him. That's the only reason. Um, but a lot of people got the seven star. Sha -sha boom, And I guess they like it. I've heard that he's pretty decent. Laser John, double dipping. Got himself a Morbius as well. Congratulations, man. And there's just so much going on right now. And it could be that six stars, because Kabam has been pushing seven stars so hard after they told us they weren't going to do that. You know? They told us when seven stars were going to come out, a lot of people were ready to quit. They were like, oh, no, no, no. We don't want to do all that over again. No, blah, blah, blah. And everybody else was like, well, it's the natural progression. That's just how the game has to survive. It grows. That's You're going to have eventually seven stars and then eight stars. And, and they came out and said, don't worry. We're not going to invalidate your uh, older champions because they did that when they came out with six stars. Your five stars were like, blah. But they said they weren't going to do that with the seven stars. They kind of did. Now, the Ascension system has done a big thing towards not um, making your six stars irrelevant just yet. So that slowed it down a bit. But they have been pushing seven stars so hard and relics so hard that it's making people a little nervous, you know? And that may have affected the uh, six star grinds. You know, people are like, well, why should I grind for these six stars when it's all about seven stars now and you're pushing those? We have um, sometime this month, probably later um, towards the end of the month, uh, they're going to be announcing, well, I guess they did tease it, a new progression title. And we don't know what the um, what the uh, requirements are yet, but they're probably going to involve seven stars. Why wouldn't they? You know? And whether that means you're going to have a certain number, you need a certain number, because you remember, like, with the, um, what was it, Paragon, you had to complete, not explore, but complete um, one pass through of some content, story content, not the abyss, um, and 
you had to have a certain number of six stars ranked up to three. I think, I forget what it was, three of them. So seven stars have recently come out, but because they've been pushing them so hard, there are so many people that already have ranked up seven stars. Um, many rank uh, two seven stars. So if they make the new progression title a certain number of seven star rank twos, they may find that that's a little bit too easy. So perhaps what they're going to do, and this is pure speculation, um, I don't have any inside information, um, but what they may end up doing is, you know, we have the uh, Cyber Weekend coming later on uh, this month. We got a new progression title coming on later on this month. So I would not be surprised if they announced the title and made the requirements just a little out of reach so that you, if you want it now, you're going to have to spend. Parasite, what? Congratulations, man. And last Zarnian again. Y'all are double dipping. Well, Parasite didn't get the uh, Drax, but last Zarnian double dipping. Congratulations, man. Um, so we'll see. We'll see um, what the requirements are and whether I'm going to go for it. I didn't go for the Paragon right away. I got Paragon later. You know, so depending on the requirements, I may or may not be at the top for a little while. And I'm good with that. Um, I, I'm not chasing, chasing, chasing stuff like that anymore. But we'll see. You know, if it's a seven star rank three, it may be a little bit. I have one seven star rank two right now. So. We'll see. Usually, though, if they're doing it in the same fashion as before, which is not a guarantee because they've been moving heavily towards a particular direction. Um, but if they do it as in the past, I was usually very close to getting it. Like um, when it came to Paragon, was it Paragon or Thronebreaker? I forget. But I was very close. Like. I couldn't get it right away, but once I knew what the requirements were, I was able to take another one up, but I didn't have anybody I really wanted to take up, so I waited for a little bit, but I was that close, you know, so we'll see what they do. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to leave comments. Hit that like button. Uh, it does help me out, and tomorrow... We're going to have a nice test and see if I am on all three of the platforms, Twitch, YouTube, and Rumble. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.